Hey everyone, I just got my new camera in the mail. I am so excited. I'm like, ah, this is super exciting. Uh, maybe this will be like one of my pictures for the opening. Yeah, anyways, um, so I am gonna open this on camera for you guys. I've got my little, uh, camera like my actual oh 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 over here over here um i've got my actual phone camera over here filming so that we can get some good footage long story short everything kind of got really weird i tried to order it from a canadian website and that didn't work out so well um, cause they're like, oh, it's on back order and it said on the website that, whoa, this has some heft to it. Um, but yeah, this thing's cool. Look at this. Oh, this is exactly what I've wanted forever. Look at this blip. What? I'm so excited. New York. That works. Whoa. dun dun Oh. Can I do Inception? Oh my god. Inception! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I am so excited, guys. This bad boy needs some charging, but I gotta go. Bye! Hey guys, I wanted to quickly show you the difference between editing a image and not. So these are the pictures that I just took on my digital SLR and um, this is the raw file of just using my window as my lighting source and this is me editing it in Photoshop just lightly with some hue saturation and some levels. And you can really tell the difference. This one's a lot more vibrant. And even though it's really time consuming for me to go through all of these images and to edit them all individually, I really find that um, doing so really makes or breaks an image. So even though it's time consuming and it may not be my favorite task to do, you can really tell the difference between something that looks a lot nicer, especially if you're going to be posting this on a e-commerce store compared to if you're not. It just pluses the image and it's really necessary to stand out. Snowflake. Snowflake. Where are you kidding? Where are you kidding? Good girl, Snowflake. <laughs> Let me make sure we're not zoomed in. We're not. Yes, little boy. Yes. I think you need to relax with your mama. <laughs> okay, mommy needs to get some work done. So I need to remove some trees. Here we be.
Hey everyone and welcome to this week's vlog. I hope you guys are doing awesome. This is a different angle as you guys can see. Uh, this is my new camera which you guys would have seen earlier and um, I thought it'd be fun to just show a different angle and see what you guys thought of this angle. Maybe you like one more than another so you can tell me if you like it with the camera this way pointed that way or this way because you know when I stream you mostly just see the opposite way so you know but um, yeah this this is the start of the week I'm really excited we did some cooking over the weekend which you guys would have already seen and I'm just super stoked to get into it I don't really know what's going to uh, come up this week and what I'm planning on accomplishing yet uh, I might do a little bit of um, a drawing tonight just hang out and do a drawing with you guys just because it's been so long since I've been doing anything like that and um yeah I'm kind of in the mood to work on my El Creamy which I'm probably saying totally wrong but Pokemon El Creamy! I love El Creamy so much I wanted an El Creamy army on my Pokemon Shield game so much fun but anyways let's get into some drawing Hey everyone, so it's the end of the evening. I drew my cute little El Creamy. I'm already not okay with my drawing, but you know that's okay, because that's kind of how it goes when you're an artist. Um, so here's my drawing, if you guys, oh, it's really, well, I'll just insert an image so you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, just trying out a new technique for how I want to draw or it's an old sketch, so going over it, I don't like waiting this long to go over my artwork because I find that I really don't like it afterwards, so I have to not let my images sit for so long because I find that my style, I guess, is evolving a lot faster than I thought it was and just my process and the way that I'm doing things, which is an extremely good feeling, but at the same token, um, it can be hard to work on on older images so because at one point I decided I, uh, one night I was just busting out a whole bunch of roughs and I was having a good time doing it and uh, then I decided you know I was going to then use those roughs and go on uh, when I stream on Twitch to have content to just go over so that I don't have to really put in all the effort into the rough because I find that I, I put in a lot of effort in my rough so that I have an easier time with my outline and all my colors and all that kind of stuff after the fact. But in this case, I waited way too long to work on this image. I think it's about a month or a month and a bit old. And um, I have one more image like that that I really just have to get out the door so that I don't have to worry about it. Um, I also have some exciting news for you guys. So uh, we are in August, which means I have my Patreon items ready to go for all my patrons. So um, if you guys are looking to support me on anywhere patreon is the best way to do so but i wanted to give back to the community as well that all these items are available as a monthly bundle as a giveaway and you can find out more about that down below and um, everyone is able to participate and you will get all of the items shown here you get a total of one two three four five six seven items so I hope you guys will uh, consider taking part. This is my first ever sticker club and um, this is the only way you guys are going to be getting my minis. So if you guys uh, love what I used to do on this channel then and, and are aware that I no longer do miniatures on my Etsy shop, this is the only way that you guys will be able to get any of my minis so every couple of months I will do a little pin or something like that special just for you guys 
Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight. Um, and also, if you guys didn't really know about me, hello, hi. I, I feel like I really gotta work on my intro a little bit more. But come on, Candy, this is vlog number five. What the hell? But hello, I am Candy. And um, this is what I do in my spare time. I like to, I'm trying to get more back into drawing. I went to school for animation and um, graduated out of that program. I cannot believe it. Over a decade ago, uh, I work full time in the animation industry. My hubby and I, if you hear him clicking away, it's because he's working very hard over there doing his animation stuff. But um, we both work on Disney shows, what? <laughs> but yeah, so we are both in charge of our own um, departments. I work in 3D layout land and he's working in a Toon Boom. Um, so it's more hand-drawn, cutout animation. He's in charge of an animation team. And uh, so because I don't get to draw in my everyday, I wanted to get back into drawing and get better at art. So my vlogs and my studio vlogs and all this stuff is just to inspire and encourage others that it is never too late to start or just have some fun drawing. I felt that when I was in school, I overdid the drawing aspect far too much to the point where when I graduated, I just, I didn't have a spark. I didn't want to draw. And I didn't. I would draw rarely. Um, you know, I did have a sketchbook, but it wasn't something I would actively draw in. And I found that, like, I mean, we would have life drawing models and that was fantastic. But uh, the hubby ended up getting me a updated iPad mini. I had the first gen. So he ended up getting me an iPad mini for Christmas. And I found that this really lit my spark again for wanting to draw. So I've only been actively really drawing since after Christmas and um, I am really happy about this. So this is just kind of my journey and to just share with you and also for me to be able to go back and look at my art and my, my drawings and that kind of stuff and my vlogs and, and everything you know, months from now, go back and, and take a look and see how far my art has come. I mean, just in this small time alone, within just a handful of months, I think it was three months, I ended up doing my Patreon, or six months. I did my Patreon uh, images, and I felt that now, you know, six months later, that it didn't really reflect me as well as it did when I first made them. So I decided that I would redo all my images and I looked at them side by side and it was crazy. I think it's really important as an artist to look at one's work and to just see how far you've come. It's so easy and I catch myself doing this constantly thinking, you know, like, why am I not getting as many likes or you know my artwork isn't selling as well or all these these stupid things that run through my head and I've got to constantly remind myself that at the end of the day I'm doing this artwork for me I am progressing myself as an artist for myself and hopefully you guys like the work that comes from it you know um, and just what kind of work do I want to see and, and what kind of work do I want to do, right? So that's pretty much what my studio vlogs are about is just, you know, after the work day, just kind of what I mull around doing um, in between streams and full-time job and, you know, having a house and a dog and a husband and all that crazy stuff. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content and I can't wait to hang out with you guys. Further. So tomorrow is stream. We're gonna be looking at some backgrounds. I haven't really decided what we're gonna look at yet. Maybe we'll do something really simple. I'm looking out of the corner of my eye and one of my friends gave us a um, an art print that he did of Adventure Time and maybe that'd be kind of fun to do something super simple tomorrow. So we might look at some Adventure Time backgrounds, talk about what makes them a good or bad background. I also figured out in, um, there's a program it, it's actually in um, 
oh my god in windows i just saw my cat be adorable and i was like what is he doing um so if you just open up a video clip in your photos you can actually draw over them i feel like such a noob not knowing you could do this because i was fighting trying to find a program constantly on my ipad and i feel like i finally found something so this is super exciting for me and i'm just super excited to um be doing this with you guys i feel like i found my passion again with doing vlogging i kind of feel like i'm constantly all over the place you know um first it's how to diys and then i moved on to twitch and then i'm coming back to youtube and doing my these studio vlogs with you guys but i've got to also remind myself that if you're not enjoying it you really shouldn't be doing it and on top of that, it's not like I'm jumping month to month. This is like years. I was on YouTube, if you guys didn't know, I was doing DIYs with my miniatures polymer clay work, which still do really well. And I'm really quite pleased that you guys still love that content for between 2015 and fall of 2017. And then that's when I moved on to Twitch at the end of 2017. And I kind of overlapped doing the two of them for quite a long time, on top of, again, having a full-time job in animation. And then um, I've been doing that consistently until this year, 2020, and I've decided to pull back a little bit. I used to stream on Twitch six days a week and that was very unhealthy um i broke it down to doing it only three times a week and i'm still finding that to be a little too much for me to bear so i only do it twice a week now during the weeks on tuesdays and thursdays so if you guys want to hang out with me while i do um just drawings hanging out with the community and also teaching you guys about what makes a good or bad composition that's on tuesday nights and then on thursdays i always do a film talk where I take a movie and we break it down because that's what I do in my everyday if you guys didn't know you can think of me as like a cinematographer and so I talk about video language and composition and shot choices and what the what what the directors and the cinematographers were thinking about while putting together these different compositions and um, I, I'm, I'm really feeling good about marrying what I do full time because I feel like I have a lot to give back and I hope you guys enjoy that kind of content. And this got really long. Anyways, I just really wanted to talk to you guys because we I, I feel that when I've been doing my vlogs, they're not as personal as I want them to be, so I'm trying to let out more of my personal side with you guys and hopefully letting all of this out now later on um you know more awesome things will come of it so anyways i've got to get ready for bed and um kind of decompress before bed and getting up for tuesday and i will see you guys then have yourselves a great night and i will talk to you guys later Hey everyone and welcome. It is Wednesday. Yesterday was streaming day and as you guys see this, um, hubby and I are having some lunch outside and I just wanted to showcase just how important it is to get away from your desk and that it's, it's just really beneficial to not be constantly in the same room and going outside is a really great idea so um, I just wanted to showcase that to just tell you guys to get outside, okay? <laughs> but uh, yesterday on stream we talked about Adventure Time which was awesome and I showed a lot of Adventure Time music because most of my community actually doesn't know or ever watch Adventure Time so that was super exciting to, uh, you know, show everyone something super fun that they've never seen before. And then I also worked on all of these really cute um, little milks so if you guys didn't know, I'm actually vegan. Oh, actually, it's 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 uh, I can't believe it's it's seeing it on screen. This is crazy. Okay, um, so uh, <laughs> I I am really happy with how all these milks turned out. Starting from the top, we've got soy milk, orange milk, uh, peach, coconut milk, 
a green tea alternative milk. Then we've got banana, strawberry, rice, um, a lemon pudding, and then almond milk. And I alternated between using Korean and Japanese letters for saying what each item is here and I had a lot of fun doing that because I've never I've never done that before I've never written anything in Korean or Japanese so that was a lot of fun to do that and um, and yeah so it's just the end of my work day um, it's Wednesday which means no stream so I think I might put together some sticker sheets that I wanted to do for my patrons and hang out in the basement with the hubby. We got a um, exercise bike on the side of the street, so we're gonna try and, and exercise a little bit more using that. Um, I am such a gimp because after a couple minutes, I am so tired, <laughs> but it's important to work out, guys. I am going to stress that as well. Going outside and working out, important things, okay? It helps with your mental state and helps you sleep. So, um, I might bring my laptop downstairs and do some work on that for patrons because I've been inspired by um, like these little circles. These were like a Molang set of stickers that I had at one point and then all of these like washi tape style sticker sheets. So um, mostly these circles is what I'm, what I'm after doing. Um, and then I also want to get going on a bullet journal. I think that will be really helpful because I'm using my my Pusheen um, day timer planner page is being very much so used up for work, which is totally fine. And I have really important dates to remember when to uh, post things on Patreon and stuff like that, which is great. But I I would like to have just a pretty spread to use my own personal stickers. That that was the reason why I started uh, making stickers in the first place. And so my sister-in-law got me this book for Christmas a couple years back. And I think it will be super exciting to use this for my bullet journal. And it comes with like, there's a whole bunch of black pages as well. And then also these squares. And I've never, I've never bullet journaled before, so I'm actually really excited to try it out. And since I already have this book on hand and I make my own stickers, I figure why not utilize it and have some fun doing it, right? So um, I'm hoping to do that maybe on Sunday or Saturday. I'm really actually quite excited. And um, I will start using that um, hopefully then. So... Let's see, it might, it might show up in this vlog, it might show up in the next vlog, we'll have to find out. And now I've gotta put some Etsy stick, or uh, I've got an Etsy order to get ready, and Mr. Candy, hubby and I have a uh, vlog, or a podcast we have to do for our patrons, so we're gonna get on that as well. Okay, guys, see you later. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. It is uh, Friday, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I've got a cute little kitty over here with me, Hello everyone! <laughs> we'll see how long he actually stays with me. I wanted to um, vlog because it is Friday evening, it is now 6.30, we are just about to go walk a puppy and all that good stuff. Uh, last night I didn't end up vlogging at all because I was um, streaming and doing, uh, we were looking at Alien as our movie of choice to do a film analysis breakdown and look what I have done. I've done all of the outline on all of this. Oh gosh, I thought he was gonna leave. So I've done all of the outline on all of my cute little milks. And um, so I'm in the process this coming two weeks to get things updated. I'm hoping to do a monthly uh, Etsy shop update. So I'm hoping to get these bad boys done and onto my shop for the end of the month. I am. So so ecstatic. I can't tell you how happy I am with how these turned out so far. I, I love just the crisp line and just how I was able to just render everything out so far. So um, yeah, so I'm excited to 
Uh, I think I'll do two versions of this, one where these are die cuts and another one where you can get the full gamut of them as a sticker sheet so you guys get to choose what you want to do. And um, I also, I'm excited, I, I want to work on doing a bullet journal so I'm going to be using this book like I was telling you guys and I think I may have already told you guys this but I did a little printable for this past month. I know we're already in the middle of the month but um, better late than never and I think this will help keep me on track and utilize my own stickers since I haven't been doing that and I'm just super 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 excited. Um, I am saying this multiple times because I'm so excited. I also just sent out a newsletter to all of the people that are subscribed to my newsletter. If you guys haven't, definitely feel free to join that. Uh, as a perk, you get a coupon immediately for free shipping on anything in my shop. Um, and the one I just sent out was to talk about the giveaway that I'm hosting this month and that I gave a 15% off coupon to everybody that's part of my newsletter. So definitely check that out down below if you are looking to join my newsletter. And don't forget about the giveaway. So um, I'm planning on doing this monthly just because I, I feel like I'm gonna have extra stickers anyways and why not give back to the community. I cannot believe he's totally chilling on my lap and such a happy boy. We'll see if I get to doing anything tonight. It's Friday, it's kind of like a meh day, evening. I would like to try and work a little bit more on my little milks, so hopefully I can work on those and get a first pass for at least flats. I, I, I feel like if I give myself something small to do, then at least I'll do it. I also want to put together my own personal um, coupons, like a little image for coupons for my different tiers on Patreon since every month you get a new coupon depending on what tier you're at for my Etsy shop. So I'm hoping to get that up and running as well. So I've got a handful of things I want to do tonight after dinner. So let's try and get these things going. All right, guys, I will see you later. Bye bye. Hey everyone and welcome. Today is Sunday and um, I'm just about to edit this vlog but I just wanted to pop on to say thank you for joining me for another studio vlog and if you got this far what is your favorite thing about summer? So you guys would have seen me on Friday work a little bit more on my stickers. I'm planning to finish them off today. Um, and work on my bullet journal, which you guys will see on my next studio vlog. And um, again, don't forget about the giveaway. It ends in 15 days at the end of the month. So if you haven't already, definitely consider uh, going in and uh, joining. It is free. And if you got, again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment section below what you loved best about the vlog and maybe what you guys would like to see more of and things like that. But this weekend was uh, quite busy for me. I had friends come over and I made a delicious spread, lots of delicious food, and I'll plug that image here now so you can see how delicious everything was. I kind of went overboard, but everyone definitely enjoyed themselves and that's all I could ever ask for. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. I will see you guys on the next studio vlog. See you again soon. Bye.